Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ciphering Weather. In today's video we are tracking Invest 94L in the Caribbean and if it or the tropical wave behind it will become Tropical Storm Barrel. If you like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. So we're looking at the latest satellite image of the Atlantic Basin thanks to tropicaltippets.com for Tuesday, June 25th, 2024. The black arrow is pointing towards Invest 94L in the Eastern Caribbean. And the purple arrow is pointing towards a tropical wave just to the south and west of the Cabo Verde Islands. Both of these have a small chance for developing. National Hurricane Center is only concentrating right now on Invest 94L. But based on today's models, which I'll show you in a little bit in this video, I think we have a better shot of seeing our purple tropical wave becoming a tropical system versus 94L in the Caribbean. Here's the vorticity, the spin and energy in the atmosphere. You can see both Invest 94L and our tropical wave on the bottom right of your screen are what are is most prominent in the Atlantic and Caribbean right now in terms of spin and energy. You can see it's they're both somewhat circular. The Invest 94L has a little bit more intensity to it right now compared to our tropical wave, but that could change as we go through the next couple of days. Here's the latest satellite image of Invest 94L, and you can see how it's got that little bit of a spin on the back side of this uh, cluster of thunderstorms that are fanning out from the center. And if we look at the spaghetti track guidance models on both the European and the GFS ensemble models. This is taking us towards Belize and Central America, potentially into the Gulf of Mexico, but also could go at crossover Central America into the Pacific as well. In terms of intensity, we have a weak tropical storm at best forming right now over the next seven days, according to our model intensity guidance. National Hurricane Center over the next two days is giving it a 10% chance of becoming a tropical storm and a 20% chance over the next seven days, either in the Western Caribbean or the western, southwestern portions of the Gulf of Mexico. So let's look at the GFS model and see what could happen over the next seven days. We're looking at the 850 millibar cyclonic vorticity. Again, that's the spin and energy in the atmosphere about a thousand feet up from the surface. The black hexagon is 94L. The purple hexagon is a tropical wave in the main development region. Here's our moisture content. Everything in green is deep moisture, which is needed for our tropical cyclone to develop. Anything in those brown, that's just north of those two systems. That's our Saharan air layer, which would suppress development. So it's just underneath that right now. And we have a favorable wind shear environment for our tropical wave in purple. But you can see throughout the Caribbean, we have high wind shear. So that's why it's not a very high percentage of seeing this system develop in the Caribbean, but a better chance as it continues moving westward towards the Yucatan Peninsula, Central America, and potentially into the Gulf of Mexico. So let's move this forward to two days from now on Thursday, June 27th. And we see that our tropical wave is going to be interacting with another Central American gyro system. So that's how this potentially could develop on either side of Central America as this very large gyro will spin up once more, just like we saw with Tropical Storm Alberto and last weekend with Invest 93L. And then we have the purple tropical wave in the main development region and another pink one right behind it. Moisture content is rather robust with all three of those systems. With a favorable wind shear environment in the main development region, but not so much in the Caribbean as we pointed out earlier. So five days from now, Sunday, June 30th. We see that Invest 94L is hugging the Mexican coastline just off the just just onshore from the Bay of Campeche. So with it being overland, we wouldn't see any development of this system. 
But look at our purple tropical wave. Look at that tight little vorticity signature. Something that small and compact could just be a feedback loop on this uh, GFS model run, uh, but potentially could also be this uh, the signature of a developing tropical system over the next couple of days. The waters out here are definitely warm enough. As we see on the models, the wind shear will be light enough for continued development. And because of the light wind shear, you're not going to see the mixing of the Saharan air layer trying to tamp out the moisture from this tropical wave. So if it if this continues, I wouldn't be surprised if tomorrow we see the National Hurricane Center highlight this tropical wave as well for possible development, especially because on satellite images, it does have a little bit of a spin to it as well. So we'll keep an eye on this one because this one might be the bigger threat for potential development versus 94L right now, which looks to be encountering too much land. And here you can see the fable wind shear environment for our purple tropical wave with that robust upper level ridge overhead allowing for that proper exhaust in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Now, in terms of 94L, you can see everyone's probably going to ask, is this going to come towards Texas, Louisiana, Florida, or anywhere in the Gulf Coast along the United States? And I could most likely definitively say it won't be coming towards you guys because we're going to have a very robust high pressure system that's going to keep this moving in a more westward direction towards Central America and Mexico versus curving up into the Gulf of Mexico towards the United States. Uh, that high pressure is going to be just too strong to be pushed out of the way. We don't see much troughing of the system. Uh, there is some, but it's after this storm has already passed. So depending on what goes on with our purple and pink tropical waves, that troughiness could pull those storms a little bit further to the north. So instead of maybe Trinidad and Tobago being in direct line of this uh, purple wave, more of the northern portions of the Lesser Antilles Islands could come into a play. So that's something that we have to keep an eye on. Based on this model run right now, on day 7, that purple tropical wave moves through the southern portions of the Lesser Antilles Islands into the eastern Caribbean as a potential tropical storm. The pink wave behind it just stays in a wave, doesn't look any organized, and our Central American Gyra 94L is right over Mexico, so again, no signs of development on this model run. Let's take a look at the European model, and we see pretty much the same thing for 94L. It tries to get into the southern portions of the Gulf of Mexico. That high pressure blocks it from moving any further north, and we don't see much development of that system there. And we do see that tropical wave moving a little bit further north towards the northern Lesser Antilles Islands on the European model, but not as a trop tropical storm, just as a strong tropical wave moving through the region. So again, Lesser Antilly Islands will have to keep an eye on for you. Somewhere in between a strong tropical wave and a tropical storm is possible based on both of these model runs that we're looking at. Because here's the ensemble models and you can see how the European is very robust on our purple tropical wave. So is the GFS, but the European really is showing it with some reds popping up on the northern tracks of some of these potential scenarios of how this storm could play out. GFS is the strongest right now on 94L in black, but you can see it's split between the very southern portions of the Gulf of Mexico and the eastern Pacific versus the European saying, eh, it's going to get into the, to the Gulf, but might not be very strong if it does develop. So, We'll continue to monitor Invest 94L, just like the National Hurricane Center. So Mexico, Belize, everyone who's seen Alberto come through, as well as 93L. 94L is heading in your direction, regardless of development, it's going to bring a ton of rain to you. And then we'll continue to track our tropical wave out in the main development region and see if it poses any threat to the Caribbean islands later this weekend into early next week. 
either of these systems develop, next name on the list would be Barrel. As a reminder, we have super thanks available on Deciphering Weather, so if you'd like to donate to the channel because you like what we're doing here, please go down to the heart button where it says thanks. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and leave a comment. Please share this video with your family and friends on social media. And if you would like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. Thank you and have a great day.